going to put this birthday card together and I thought I'd just go ahead and turn the camera on. It's super simple. I've done most of the work already. I was in the middle of doing it when I thought, you know what, I'll turn the camera on and we'll chat for a minute. I have a standard A2 size card base. It's 5.5 by 8.5, scored at 4 and a quarter. I have two mats that go on the inside. This one's cut at 4 by 5 and a quarter. This one's cut at 3 and 3 quarter by 5. I don't know if I'm going to stamp anything on that or, yet or not. I might. Then for the outside, I have two mats. The first one's cut at 4 and an eighth by 5 and 3 eighths. And the second one's cut at 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and a quarter. Then I got out one of these tiny doilies. Um, I got these a while back at Tuesday morning, and they were in the Downton Abbey collection that they had out. They are the perfect size for the front of a standard A2 size card in my opinion. They're not too big, they're not too small, they're perfect. Then I die, die cut a darker version of this, but for some reason it kind of rippled. I think it's because I need new plates, honestly. And so this card is trying to be a disaster and I'm not going to let it. I don't know how I'm going to fix that up there yet, but I think it's going to turn out okay in the end. I used my white alabaster Brutus Monroe pigment ink, and then I used the white Nouveau powder on top of it, heat embossed it. I don't like the combination of those two together. I like the white on its own um, ink, and I like using clear ink with the Nuvo white powder, but I don't like using them together because it cre creates kind of like little bubbles. And I make sure that my um, heat tool is super hot when I do it. I got embossing powder everywhere. I thought I'd used enough of my um, powder tool on it, but I apparently did not. So, and I didn't get embossing powder in that spot, so I'm going to fix it with my white pen. So, to remedy that, I just took my little white um, Signo gel pen and turned it into polka dotted background. And I think it's okay. It's not what I wanted, if I'm honest, but I think it turned out okay. Some of my dots don't look like dots, though. They look more like paint splatters. Then I have some embroidery floss that's in the perfect shade of this blue. I took that and I tripled it up. And I took this baker's twine that I have that's a multicolor, again, same color blue, shade lighter. I doubled it up and made a bow out of them. That's what I did. I'm going to try and make this work. Let's see. I think what I'll do is try and come along this edge. If I can get my pen to work. There we go. Come on. What are we doing here? if this will distract a little bit. I put a bunch of foam on the back of this in the hopes that I'd get it straightened out. Because I tried running it back through my die cutter with just plates and it just did not flatten out. I could put it under some books, or could have, before I added the foam to it, but I don't have time to do that. One of mine and my son's favorite movies to watch together was Winnie the Pooh's Big Adventure, I think is what it's called. It's been so many years. Um, 
and we'd sing the little songs together and all that. He was a little boy. But she would watch those movies with us. And this was before my husband and I got married. She would watch those movies with us and, you know, just get a kick out of he, how he and I acted. <laughs> but I mentioned to her that he and I was wanting to go see that movie, and we were wondering if she would want to go or if she thought she'd feel up to sitting in a movie theater. Because she gets kind of anxious around a bunch of people. Which, you know, I, I really think some anxiety is genetic. There would be people that would argue with me about that, but my grandmother had anxiety. My mother has anxiety. My sister has anxiety. My youngest older brother has anxiety. I have had it all my life. My son has it. Mine is more social anxiety. Then other, I can pretty much control the other. Oh no, come on. And this top one is just paper, it'll rip. At any rate, she's not usually a big fan of going to movie theaters. But I mentioned it to her today, and she was really excited about the idea. And I thought, how wonderful is that, you know? And my husband's going racing, or he would probably go. So it's going to be me, my son, and my mom. And we're going to go to the movie theater, and then we might grab dinner or something while we're out. And I'm pretty excited about it. This does not look straight, so I'm going to straighten it up. While he and I are always going to have a mother-son relationship, <clears throat> now that he's an adult, the dynamics of our relationship has changed. It's not so much of mother-son as it is adult to adult. You know, because I don't feel like I have to constantly mother him. I hope that makes sense. I hope people who have adult children can understand and relate to what I'm saying. Because I'm always going to be his mom, and he's always going to need me, and I'm always going to need him as my son. But we can have adult conversations about meaningful things, and it doesn't have to be... If, if we disagree about something, it doesn't have to be a mother-son disagreement. It can be, a, hey, adult to adult. I, you know, I just disagree with what you're thinking, and you disagree with what I'm thinking, and we can communicate about it and meet somewhere in the middle. I hope that makes some sense. I think it's really awesome because it just shows growth. And he's always been a very intelligent young man, very responsible. So it just comes easy, you know, even talking about politics, which I typically don't like to talk to anybody about, because usually that's kind of a touchy subject, you know. Do I want this up here? Let's see, do I want you there? Let me see if trimming this makes me like it anymore. Yeah, I like that a little better. So, let's use it. Anyway, that's what's happening in my world. How about you guys? way more glue than I need, but I do it every time. Because when I add the extra wet glue, it just kind of 
locks the knot in place and keeps it from untying. Or that's how it seems anyway. It's not centered. Dead gummit. That's better. Now we need what color heart do we want to use? That yell that lonely yellow one? Let's do that one. Because you gotta have a heart on there. And I'm gonna put it on top of one of these candles. Well, I say I am. Now, see, my mom's a lot like I am, or I'm a lot like she is, whichever. Um, we're homebodies. You know, we enjoy being in our own home, in our own space. So when she randomly pops up and says, I'm coming for a visit, I get really excited about that because, again, I don't get to see her very often. And... You know, she'll be 76 this year, so I like to take advantage of time. Oh, those would be pretty. I don't know what got me on this enamel dot kick, but I've really been enjoying them. That and making shaker cards. I don't know what got me on that kick either. Now, do I want to stamp anything on this? I don't think I want to. I think I want to leave it blank, and then when I decide who it's going to, then I'll just write a personal message in there and maybe stamp celebrate or have a wonderful day or something like that. Nope, it's not. So I need to fix it. Let's use... Uh-oh. I'm throwing stuff away that I don't mean to be throwing away. So we're switching to a yellow card base same A2 size. It's not that my card base was crooked, it's that I put this bottom mat down crooked. So I'll just cut this off and straighten it up and apply it to the yellow. Let's try it again. Good grief. difference with using my ATG as opposed to the tape that I used on the other one is the other one's like score tape. It's super strong and once you put it down there's no peeling it back up without tearing something up. But with the ATG you can usually peel it back up. So there we go. I think it's cute. So there we go. You guys let me know what you think. I think it turned out cute in spite of all of my flubs. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. I certainly appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day and a glorious tomorrow. Bye guys.